other thing about the message is that the devil is behind you, I guess, until you have to deliver that message. Because he doesn't stop from the minute you are commissioned to do a message, I guess. It's been a hard day, few days, Pastor, Brother Rob, Pastor Jonathan. You guys didn't tell me how hard it can be and how much the devil can be on the tail. But it is good, it is good to be in the Word of God. Amen. And if I have a Bible, oh. thank you. <laughs> Come to the pulpit with the Bible. It's, um, anyway, this message is called Forget not the Lord thy God. Forget not the Lord thy God. I remember many a times I I would be sent to the supermarket, um, you know, by my mother or whoever else would send me to the supermarket. I get there and I totally forget what I was supposed to buy. <laughs> because from the time you left the house to the time you get there, I mean, you have so much fun. And I had to walk back several, I mean, our shops are like a mile or something, <laughs> you know, to walk. But you get there and you think, oh, what was it? And then you have to return and go and find out again to take the journey the second time. It is embarrassing for most of the time. Our memories are getting a little bit foggy now. I, 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 I've, I've come to say now that I've come to age that my memory is not doing very well. Sister Natalie says it's just the beginning, but it is very embarrassing. Many of, many of us remember people, people's faces, faces. Many of us remember people's faces, but we forget their names, aren't we? You know? And I'm a good testimony of that. You know, I forget a lot of faces, but I don't remember the names either. <laughs> right, yeah. Psalms 73, uh, verses 10 and 13 reads, They keep not the covenant of God and refuse us to walk in his laws, and forgot his words and his wonders that he had showed them. Marvelous things did he in the sight of their fathers, in the land of Egypt and in the fields of Zion. Now these, as you can remember, are the chosen nation Israel. They had the pro, 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 uh, pro, <coughs> prospen, prospensity to forget about God and His goodness. It took them probably a journey that would have been few years. It took them close to two, 40 years, didn't it? Two score, 40 years it took them. Now, if we are going to read um, from the Bible, the Old Testament of just Joshua, the Old Testament of Joshua. We are going to read from Joshua chapter 4. From Joshua chapter 4, from verse 1 to verse 24. And it came to pass when all the people were clean passed over Jordan, that the Lord spake unto Joshua, saying, Take you twelve men out of the people, out of every tribe of man, and command he them saying, Take you hence out of the midst of Jordan, out of the place where the priest's feet stood firm, twelve stones, and he shall carry them out of carry them 
over with you, and leave them in the lodging place, where he shall lodge this night. Then Joshua called the twelve men whom he had prepared for the children of Israel out of every tribe a man. And Joshua said unto them, Pass over before me the ark of the Lord your God into the midst of Jordan, and take ye up every man of you a stone upon his shoulder, according unto the number of the tribes of the children of Israel, that these may be a sign among you, that when your children ask their fathers in the time to come, saying, What mean ye these stones? Then ye shall answer them, that the waters of Jordan were cut off before the ark of the covenant of the Lord, when it passed over Jordan, and the waters of Jordan were cut off. And these stones shall be for the memorial unto the children of Israel forever. And the Lord and the children of Israel did so as Joshua commanded, and took up twelve stones out of the midst of Jordan. And the Lord spake unto Joshua, according to the numbers of the tribes of the children of Israel, and carried them over. and carried them over with them unto the place where they lodged and laid them down here. And Joshua set up twelve stones in the midst of Jordan, in the place where the feet of the priests which bear the Ark of the Covenant stood, and they are there until this day. For the priests which bear the Ark stood in the midst of Jordan until everything was finished, and the Lord commanded Joshua to to speak unto the people according to all that Moses commanded Joshua. And the people hasted and passed over, and it came to pass, when all the people were cleaned, passed over, that the ark of the Lord passed over, and the priest in the presence of the people, and the children of Reuben, and the children of Gad, and the half tribe of Manasseh passed over armed before the children of Israel. As Moses spake unto them, about 40,000 prepared for war passed over before the Lord unto battle to the plains of Jericho. On that day the Lord magnified Joshua in the sight of all Israel, and they feared him, and they feared Moses all the days of his life. And the Lord spake unto Joshua, saying, Command the priests that bear the ark of the testimony, that they come up out of Jordan. Joshua therefore commanded the priest, saying, Come he up out of Jordan, and it shall come to pass. When the priests that bear the ark of the covenant of the Lord were come upon of the midst of Jordan, and the soles of the priest's feet were lifted up unto the dry land, that the waters of Jordan returned unto their place and flowed all over all his banks as they did before. And the people came up out of the Jordan unto the tenth day of the first month and encamped of Gilgal in the east border of Jericho. And those twelve stones which they took out of Jordan did Joshua pitch in Gilgal. And he spake unto the children of Israel, saying, when your children shall ask their fathers in times to come, saying, What mean these stones? Then ye shall let your children know, saying, Israel came over this Jordan on dry land. For the Lord your God dried up the waters out of Jordan from before you, until ye you, until you were passed over, and the, and the Lord your God did to the Red Sea, which he dried up from before us, until we were gone over, that all the people of the earth might know that the hand of the Lord, that is the mighty, that he might fear the Lord your God forever. Amen. 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 I mean, this is, apart from the Red Sea being parted in Moses' days, isn't it? the Jordan getting part, parted as well. So this is another, probably on a smaller scale, you know, that the Lord has done these miracles for his people. 
but it's, it's beside me that the children of the Lord forget him mm. so quick as he can as they can remember his miracles it is evident that God has done so much for his chosen nation but they they tend to forget and I wonder myself why is it that the Lord has done so much for his people why is it that he had to show the miracle after miracle and then they just forget what is the main reason that we forget what the Lord has done for us why can't we just remember what the God has done for you why can't we remember what God has done for us Deuteronomy 5 and verse 15 reads and remember that thou was a servant in he in the land of Egypt and that the Lord thy God brought thee out hands from a mighty hand and by the stretched out arm therefore the Lord thy God commanded thee to keep the Sabbath day another verse in Deuteronomy 8 and verse 11 says beware that thou forget not the Lord thy God in in not keeping his commandments and his judgments and his statutes which I command thee this day lest when thou hast eaten and art full and hast built goodly houses and dwell therein and when thy herbs and thy flocks multiply and thy silver and thy gold is multiplied and all that thou hast is multiplied then thine heart be lifted up and thou forget the Lord thy God which brought thee forth out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage another account in Deuteronomy chapter 9 and verse 7 the Lord says remember and forget not how thou provokest the Lord thy God with wrath in the wilderness from the day that thou didst depart out of the <coughs> land of Egypt until he came unto this place he have been rebellious against the Lord. Several times God tells his people to remember, remember what I've done for you, the goodness that I've shown you. <coughs> but because we have got that sin in our in our hearts that we just turn to forget. It's so easy to forget what the Lord has done for us. And I believe it's because of sin that we just don't want to go back and remember the goodness of God. We delight in our sins so much that we forget what the Lord has done for us. If we recount today what the Lord has done for us, I am sure we will say, Lord, this is it. I will sin no more. But then a minute later we will get up, get up and the devil will be behind us and we will sin and we will forget what the Lord has done but by the grace of God Jesus has died for us and he has covered our our sins with the precious blood Amen. that he shed for us on the cross of Calvary Amen. God always reminds us that we are just sinners saved by grace but he still loves us besides our weaknesses and our failings Deuteronomy 8 and verse 1 reads, All the commandments which I command thee this day shall he observe to do, that he may live and multiply and go in the in a possess in in and possess the land which the Lord sown unto you, unto your fathers. And thou shalt remember all the ways which the Lord thy God led thee these forty years in the wilderness to humble thee and to prove thee to know what was in thy heart whether thou wouldst keep his commandments or not God is gracious he is so good to us remember and listen to what the Lord says Psalm 103 says but the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting mm -hmm. upon that upon them that fear him and their and his righteousness unto children's children to such as to, to such as keep his covenant 
and to those that remember his commandments to do them. Remembering is so important that God reminds us of remembering his promises to us. It is the most important thing that we need to remember the promises of God. First Chronicles says, Be ye mindful always of his covenant, the word which he commanded a thousand generations. Um, Genesis 9 says, verse 14 says, And it shall come to pass, when I bring a cloud over the earth, the water shall the water shall no more become a flood to destroy all flesh, and I will remember my covenant, which is between me and you and every living creature of all flesh, and the water shall no more become a flood to destroy all flesh, and the bow shall be, a bow shall be in the, in the cloud, and I will look upon it, that I may remember the everlasting covenant between God and every living creature and all flesh that is upon the earth. You know all about the rainbow, isn't it? That's what God's talking about. He showed us the rainbow to, rem to remind us that his covenant that he has given us to remember that he will no longer consume us for the world with the floods. I mean, you, you read that and you think, oh, goodness, my goodness. There was a flood in this part of the world. There was a flood in that part of the world. There was a volcano here and there. And But God doesn't talk about those sort of things. God talks about because of our sins have been covered by the blood of Christ, that he will no longer consume the whole earth again as he has before. But we need to remember God's salvation. Deuteronomy 6 and verse 20. I will read the five verses in verse 20 to 25. And when thy son asketh thee in the time to come, saying, What mean is these testimonies and the statutes and the judgments which the Lord our God hath commanded you? Then thou shalt say unto thy son, We were pharaohs, 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 bondmen in Egypt, and the Lord brought us out of Egypt with a mighty hand. And the Lord showed signs and wonders, great and sore, upon Egypt, upon Pharaoh's house, and upon all his household before our eyes. And he brought us out from hence, that he might bring us in, to give us the land which he sown unto our fathers. And the Lord commanded us to do all these statutes to fear the Lord our God for our God for our good always that he might preserve us alive as it is at his day and it shall be our righteousness if we observe to do all these commandments before the Lord our God as he hath commanded us Jeremiah 31 and verse 33 says but these shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, said the Lord, I will put my law in thy inward parts, and I will write in thy hearts, and I will be thy God, and they shall be my people. And they shall teach no more every man his neighbor, and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for they shall all know me, from the least of them unto the greatest, of them, saith the Lord, for I will forgive their iniquities, and I will remember their sins no more. Amen. He told um, the people that they were about to enter the beautiful land of Canaan, which is Israel. When their farms did well, and they were living in lovely homes, and had loads of loads of money, then the people were apt to forget the Lord their God. When things are going well for us today, we forget, we often forget the Lord and, and that we really need Him in our lives. Yeah. Just like Israelites did later, when something goes wrong, then we often cry to the Lord to help us. Let's make it a habit to call upon the Lord 
all the time. Even the things that, even when things are going well with us, it is important to remember the goodness of the Lord Amen. and what He has done for us. Amen. Brothers and sisters, it is very important that we remember to read our Bibles every day, to take to talk to the Lord every day, and to because He is anxious. He is anxious to hear from us, to hear our troubles, to hear our good news. Anything that is less important to another person, it is so important to the Lord because it is from our hearts, it is important, and it is a relationship that a father has with a child. You know, a father has a relationship with his children that is beyond anything. You know, how much small it can be to a child or silly it can be, and it is, it is a joy to a father. Mm -hmm. Deuteronomy 8 and um, verse 11 says, Beware that thou forget not the Lord thy God, mm -hmm. in not keeping his commandments and his judgments and his statutes which I command thee this day. Amen. 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 Amen.